Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here and we're going to do a store shelf update. That's right, the supply chains can't keep up with the crazies. They're buying toilet paper like it's going out of style, but not just toilet paper. So let's take a look at the shelves at my local Kroger store. Alright, so this is the paper towel slash toilet paper aisle. There ain't nothing here. No Kleenex either, no paper products. All right, so when you don't have any toilet paper, paper towels in that section, you go over to the napkin section. That's looking pretty sad, too. Look at this. This is the bread aisle. This aisle, see, after they remodeled the store, so instead of it used to be a small bread section, now it's an entire aisle of bread and bread products. Ain't none here. Well, there might be a few gluten-free options here or there, but, I mean, who wants that? anybody out there explain this look at this the cat litter section is almost bare are people running out of toilet paper and then pooping in a in, in a cat box man that gives me an idea more bare shelves Now here's the soft soap and the antibacterial hand soap and stuff like that section and there ain't nothing here. There is just a couple of these already pre-foaming antibacterial something or others. I mean I can buy one. But really quick, the dirty little secret about the pre-foaming soap, you see them in public restrooms and stuff? They are not as good as the other stuff because it's part of the hand motion making the suds that helps get the dirt off you and kill the germs. The stuff that pre-suds up, suds is, suds is up, doesn't do as good a job, but it's about conserving soap. So they put that in a public restroom so it will last longer. Not so your hands get clean, but so it'll last longer. And there's no antibacterial wipes or anything like that, but, you know, antibacterial wipes? Isn't this a virus, not a bacterial, you know, bacteria, bacterium, bacteria? So, yeah, that, go figure. But I always have plenty of that on hand anyways. All right, so that's the update for today. Now, don't worry. You should already have stuff like this on hand. You should already have a couple weeks to a month's worth of toilet paper at home anyways. And most people I talk to, well... That was their problem. They just ran out of toilet paper normally and they can't find any. You know, they're going to be wiping their butt in a leaf from the backyard pretty soon. All right, so what the store shelves looking in your area? Leave your comments in the comment section and feel free to just vent about how crazy and insane, insane these, uh, how crazy and insane these stupid people are. The problem is someone says, I'm going to go get some toilet paper and then somebody else posts a video and then bam, everybody's running and getting toilet paper. Now, there's going to be a shortage of toilet paper now, but in a couple months when everything blows over, or sooner, then there's going to be so much toilet paper, you're not going to know what to do with it yet. All right, so leave a comment in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister22, the most dangerous man on YouTube. <laughs>